Hi guys, Ranting Ranger here with another review. Today, we've got the Lightning Collections Power Rangers Mighty Morphin White Ranger here. Look at the side of the box, back of the box, the other side, some artwork here. And then we've actually got our figure right here. So he looks pretty good. We've got like a rubber shield here. So it's pretty pliable, it's bendy. So I'm pretty sure you can get it off when you take the head off. These heads are very difficult to get off. I recommend soaking it under hot water actually gets it so these pop off pretty easy. I like how there's the detail here so you can actually see the wrinkles in, in the suit. So it just doesn't look like it's skin tight or he's just like got an overabundance of muscles underneath. I hated those action figures that just seemed like two buff superheroes. Like these are meant to look like it's a guy in a, in a suit. So I really like that. We've got his gold armbands painted, a lot of detail in the back. No screw holes or anything in the back. So that's really nice with these Lightning Collection figures. And he comes with the Saba Saber right here. And then he also comes with this action piece, which can attach to the Saba Saber, like so. As you saw earlier in the video, it's very cool. So he could be like hitting a putty or in battle with Goldar or with Lord Zed or even Rita. Pop him in his hands. These hands necessarily aren't the easiest to work with either. So that's him holding the Saba Saber. He's got arm articulation right here. He's got double jointed knees, which these knees are amazing. Both knees, double jointed. Some of the joints are a little rough when you first get them. You got the torso articulation right there, which is just brilliant. Got the head articulation. There's our Tommy head mold. So I do suggest heating these up before popping the heads off. I actually just heated this up a little bit under some water, then putting the head on. You, you gotta really apply some pressure to these things. There we go. Get a nice satisfying click. And then there's our Tommy head, which I'd say this one looks a little bit better than some of the others that I've seen. And I thought it was very cool how they can hold the helmets, which I always find it easier for them to prop the, the helmet up on the belt for them to hold their helmets. What an awesome White Ranger figure. One of the best I've, I've ever seen, actually. Uh, the SH Figuarts figure comes really close, but I want to say that that's almost like $80 for a figure, and these are only like 20 in the $20 range, so... In comparison, you really can't, you can't beat it. And honestly, I want to say that these look more like the suit actors in the American version than the SH figure arts. They kind of looks like the Sentai actors in the suits. So a bit of Power Rangers news today. So news dropped that Netflix will be dropping Power Rangers uh, at the end of the month. So that is interesting. We we're wondering where it's going to go, uh, what the future is for the Power Rangers brand. I know that Hasbro's not going to spend a billion dollars on buying something and not do something with it. So it's going somewhere. Uh, Jonathan Enwistle has plans with it. So it's definitely going somewhere and it's probably going to get some new life brought into it. But that was interesting Power Rangers news today. Netflix is going to be dropping Power Rangers. So in the comment section below, put what your opinions and thoughts are about that because we want to hear them. If Power Rangers can go somewhere else, where would you want it to go? Uh, they were already talking about making three different universes, a movie universe, a TV universe, and, and the kids universe. So I'm curious to see what they're going to do with that. I'd like to see a CW show that was like The Flash or Arrow adapted with Power Rangers material for an older audience. I would love to see that. And there's so many comic book storylines that they could be adapting from. So why, why not use it? I think that's where Star Wars fell off was because they said they lacked continuity, but there was so much continuity there that they just ignored. Hasbro shouldn't do that. 
I think that the first movie that they did in 2017 or 16, whatever that new Power Rangers movie was, the reason why it failed is because it didn't hit all the nostalgia chords to everybody. So I think they need to do that and they need to bring this guy back. They need to bring back the original cast, figure out a way to incorporate them somehow. Again, please like and subscribe, guys. We've got a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers coming up. So hopefully you guys stay tuned and keep on the lookout for that video coming up. Again, I'm the Ranting Ranger. See you.